minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Hello people, this is the Diwali season and I no longer have the interest to fire the crackers. But I'm all for celebrating it in a nerdy way. How about firing Diwali rockets wirelessly? Interesting right? Diwali falls in 3 days. I have only 48 hours left to build the launch system and another 24 hours to edit the videos. So I'm going to take a dirty way to do this. No pyrotechnics, no chemicals, just a frugal method. Let the timer start. First of all, we need an ignition system to fire the rockets. There are a lot of ways to do this. Initially, I tried with a 24 gauge nichrome wire which we could use it as a heater filament using electricity. But it took a hell lot of current to even barely heat it up. I thought a 38 or 40 gauge nichrome wire would help. So I ripped it off my iron box and took a few millimeters of it. But again, it needs huge amount of current. I want to fire up the rocket from my 11.1 volt lithium ion battery. Other makers have found some nerdy ways to do this. Great Scott used a low wattage resistor to burn and create fire. Though it works, a new resistor has to be used in every single launch. I'm going to make an even simpler ignition system. I bought a barbecue gas lighter. This requires at least 10 Newton force to put the flame on the tip. Let's see if we can build an ignition system using this lighter. We can use a solenoid to do this, but still, it requires a lot of current. I tried with solenoids of various forces. Though it worked, it took a lot of current that my batteries cannot cope up with. So let's build a linear actuator to press the trigger. I'm going to use a NEMA 17 stepper motor. Originally, I brought this for my 3D printer. And a step down DC-DC converter module to reduce the battery voltage to 5 volts. The pendulum stand is going to be our launch tower. So I made some drills on the stand to hold our motor. Let's design and 3D print a holder to attach our stepper motor with the stand. Let's attach the motor and screw it. Alright, we have fixed our stepper motor. Let's attach our barbecue gas lighter with a ball head clamp. Now we need to figure out a way to press the trigger. I don't have a lead screw rod. With that, we could have just attached a screw to press the trigger. But for the time being, I am going to try if the belt mechanism works. Right now, I have only two ball head clamps. I have already used one clamp to hold the lighter and I am going to use another clamp to hold the rockets. I am going to 3D print another clamp to hold the lighter properly. Alright, the lighter is now placed in a stable manner. We can attach the belt with the lighter and connect it to the motor pulley. Fine. Now we have to use the microcontroller to program the time it takes to properly press and release the trigger. I am going to use the ESP8266 development board. This board has Wi-Fi functionality. So I can use two of this board to wirelessly control the ignition. The stepper motor has to be driven by the microcontroller using a specialized driver interface. I am going to use A4988 stepper motor driver controller module. I have already assembled and programmed the circuits. So let's check if you could press the trigger using the stepper motor. Oh no! The belt is not stable enough to press the trigger. Let's try to fix it with an L clamp which I was planning to use in another project. I have very less time to make it work professionally. This is the crude method. Let's wrap it with the motor pulley. Let's try it again. Woohoo! It works! It's time to build the transmitter circuit. This circuit has another ESP8266 controller. I have a lithium polymer battery, a battery charge controller module, a voltage booster module uh, that converts the battery voltage to 5 volts, an on off switch, an 8 digit segmental LED display module, and a trigger switch to start the countdown timer. Alright. Now let's design an enclosure for this transmitter and quickly 3D print it. Let's put the electronics inside it. 
I have attached a tripod mount screw to it. Let's attach the display module and glue it. Let's attach the battery and other electronics using a double sided tape. Alright, we have completed the assembly. I have already programmed the microcontrollers. Let's check if it works. The Wi Fi transmitter is trying to establish a Wi Fi connection. Ah, the connection is successful. Let's press the trigger button to start the 15 second countdown timer. Actually, the transmitter circuit is configured as a Wi Fi client and the ignition system hosts a web server. When the countdown timer reaches 0 seconds, our transmitter will send a HTTP GET request to the server. The server interprets it and start the ignition process. Actually, we will send the ignition command when the timer reaches 2 seconds in order to compensate for the slow rotation of the motor. Ok, everything looks fine to me. It's time to test it. Pingo, press. Okay, okay, countdown starts. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. What happened? Oh no, this launch is a failure. Let's try one more time. Pinku, press the green button one more time. Pinku, sit down. Sit down. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. What's happening? Aha! It was. Fine, that's it for this week. That is the professional way of doing this. I will make a video of it when I find the time. I will see you next week with another interesting video. Thanks for watching this video. Happy Diwali. See you again.